make sure you're Lord, we gotta leave the door open unfortunately because it's hot as haze up in here yeah. um just make sure your halo's not showing did you eat your pizza that fast mm -hmm. did you put any moisturizer on that peeling face of yours from the sun no i didn't i forgot you need a thing called sun screen i put it on <laughs> everybody Uh, should probably put a fly in the bus. <laughs> That'd be nice. Oh my gracious, I got five million things open here. Hey, Mr. Pajika. Hey, Mr. Severance. Uh, it's been going good. Hope everything's been good for you, too. Oh, look. Three videos. Terry Landry. You got to go. Can't get this thing to stay up with that blade. It's too much weight. But it's fine. It looks fine in the video. There we go. It's fine. Well, then you can't see it. So, it's fine in the video. Oh, no. Hey, Mr. Callback. So, got a few people in. Um, tonight, be tying the Finesse Game Changer. This one isn't going to have a blade on it. It's going to have a, a Marabou tail. Um, kind of similar to the production model from uh, Flyman Fishco. But um, it's a blind chocolate pattern. <gasps> no way. <laughs> um, but, of course, it's got the shanks. But it's tied out of this uh, Game Changer chenille material. But it's an awesome clear water pattern. Uh, finesse pattern as in the name and uh, finicky fish hey mr. Davenport there you go but um yeah you can tie it from sizes like this to uh, which are actually kind of on the larger side for a finesse changer um, more mid size mid sizes as well like we're gonna tie tonight um, kind of smaller sizes this is like a, uh, a smaller size for what I use for false abacore um, that one's got a bunch of fish on it. Still has the eyes, but a little beat up. Um, here's a micro um, finesse changer that actually caught some steelhead by one of the guides up in uh, Steelhead Alley Outfitters. But that's one I actually tied live, I think. And then... Um, Your little babies. Yeah. Then there's a small tan finesse changer that does really well in the creeks. Um, around me for uh, large on bass and small mouth bass, but get going here in a second. Hey, Mr. Flint. All right, this your water or mine? That one's mine. Chartreuse is yours. Okay, thank you. I'll be trying to hit up my mother's steak cup now. One of them. Did you fill it up? With stuff already in it. Your cup? I just put water in it. Why did it have Sprite in it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. We shouldn't have been bringing Sprite to the pool. We should have been bringing water. I had some water. So. Alright. So, probably go ahead and get started. Oh, I was like, what is that zero over there? It's the stars. Oh, yeah. Um, Go ahead. Tell everybody about your little broke up nose. Oh, my nose? Yeah, so if you're wondering about my nose and you don't need to say anything, it's all good. Um, I actually fell down and hit my face on the boat while fishing, what was it, three days ago now, four days ago now. Um, I was hooked, up to, an am hooked mm -hmm. up to an amber jack and the rest is history. You didn't lose the fish though, did you? No, I caught it. So, um... What I'm putting in the vise right now is a is a tail shank from Flyman Fish Company, and putting those in my shank jaws on the new inline Magnum hubs, which are awesome. I'm sure everybody's seen some of the Norvice people uh, ambassadors who got some <laughs> presents recently in the mail. No, I wasn't standing on the cooler. For an amberjack. 
Not on Andrew's boat. Did catch some snakehead and bowfin yesterday, though. Alright, so... Hello. Hello, Judy. I just saw your thing. Thought your younger brother got you. Uh, he tried drowning his youngest brother today in the pool, Shannon. Oh, my. Told him, okay, hold your breath, and <laughs> we're going under to the bottom. And the Bennett's steadily yelling, no! <laughs> I did not try to drown him. Oh, he just came up choking on water for no Because he started freaking trying to breathe down there. That wasn't my fault. How big did your amberjack go? Um, they were more in the small to mid-sized range, but probably 15, 20 pounds. Um, we did hook some that were upwards of probably 70, 80 pounds that we just could not stop. Um, also lost a cobia. Oh, Lord, don't start crying. <laughs> yeah, that was a heartbreaker. You learned a lesson there, didn't you? What was that? Every time you catch a bluefish... And Not you to fish, fish for bluefish. <laughs> Don't let Ashley hear you. Yeah. So he caught a bluefish before he caught his cobia. And they're pretty sure what... What do you think the bluefish did to it? So with a vertical jig or speed jig, you've got your jig and then off of it you've got a assist cord on a split ring attached to the jig attached to your hook and that's how your hook is connected it's off of the actual jig so you can oh God, put new hooks on or stuff like that but it's attached by an assist cord and the assist cord is like I don't know it's some kind of hollow cord braid oh, and um I caught a bluefish just before hooking that cobia, and I believe the bluefish had chewed on the assist cord for a little while, which frayed it up. Was it high? The assist cord is what broke on the fish. I can feel the air conditioning. It actually feels pretty good now. My HVAC man is working on the third floor air conditioning. I walked up here and it was 79 degrees. It does not work for mama. Anybody say anything? Oh, I don't know. I was uh, Braden, y'all need. Oh, yes, we would love to come to Australia, but I might not bring Braden for that trip. <laughs> he doesn't have enough money to get there. What thread are you using? This is Semperfly Nano Silk. I believe. I can't remember what's actually put on this bobbin. A flashlight. Mm. A little cell phone flashlight work. But, uh. I don't know about a flashlight up here. All we have is uh, UV lights. Have you tried fishing for tarpon? Oh. I was supposed to be down there, actually. Like... Oh, can you zoom in? Thank you. Oh, yep. I was actually supposed to be down tarpon fishing. No. For a little while. For most of April and June, but yep. that's okay. I would rather Jake be healthy and not have to worry about you or him. Oh, yeah. I can tell you, I highly doubt it'll be his last tarpon season. But yes, he has tried for tarpon. That's another sad story. <laughs> yeah. Oh, seems like Willis all the Tim says, what's up? What? Tim said, what's up? I'm, I'm... Okay. Frankie is what he is. <gasps> hey, Tiff! Nurse Tiff is on from... Your... She doesn't work here anymore, time. though. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Alright, so clipping onto the tail shank is a 10 millimeter Flyman Fishing Company um, articulated shank. Um, finish the tail shank off with a whip finish and then um, some Solar Res Bone Dry. But this fly is actually, this game changer is one of the most simple ones. It's a 
simple two material fly um just some tips and tricks to tying it make it come out looking better and more full is really the big big thing with this fly but also your trimming Oh, I was going to post on Instagram. Look where that just popped up. Oh, yeah. I know you want one of those. So, filling the shank up, up onto the loop there. So, you can see how far I tied back on that shank's loop just because you want to fill up. Man, spins tying by. Doesn't he know this is nobody's Facebook Live time? He can't be competing. <laughs> Patrick Rosen, what's up? Hey, Mr. Robinson. So, this is Game Changer Chenille, sold by, uh, through Hairline and Hairline Distributors. But, it's kind of just a, I would say probably like a nylon material almost, but, comes on that cord or rope like a chenille would, hence the name. This is the clear color, but tying that all the way back to where I've tied onto the loop there. Just do a simple half hitch there, and then bring my bobbin over to my bobbin cradle. Tighten down my tension knob. I'm just gonna walk this over with tight touching wraps. You want to pull back the fibers as you go, making sure you're not trapping any. But my hand is barely even moving. I'm just moving the vise. So all the way up to the shank eye right there. Kind of pull as much of this material out of the way as you can. Bring my bobbin over. Getting ready to tie this material off. And then work your way through the fibers as best as you can. Try not to trap as many. And then secure a few tight wraps. Snip that off as close as possible. And then... What was the tailing material? I was distracted. We are too. Um, marabou. The tail, tailing material is marabou off the back. That's all on that one shank. Alright, so... Cleaning up my thread head right there. Ow, man. See the cut there? Oh, fishing's a hard life, I know. No, that's from braid yesterday. It's still brand new. Okay, still, that's fishing. I know, just. I know it was a rough day out snakehead fishing yesterday. <laughs> it was when we pushed the boat off the mud flat. <laughs> Tim's going to want to know that story. Oh, yeah. We'll have to call him afterwards. I'll send him some pictures. So, all I did there, I went through with a comb and combed it out. Making sure any fibers I may have trapped, I uh, pulled out. Alright. So, silver is bone dry on the thread wraps. Try not to cover up your shank eye. Pulling all your material out of the way. Try not to get any material with it. And then, going to cure that. Okay, I'm going to cure that. I'm going to plug in my phone just to make sure. Why were we on a mud flat? Well, hmm. the tide was, was right and we were catching fish and 
we were on there long enough and thought we could get a big one and we were and Blake sack fished a double digit right next to the boat. Hey Jay. Oh yes. I thought it was Hey Mr. Jordan. I thought that was Blake's fish all the way, Tim. Then I was told. Braden saw it. I was Blake, about to cast at it. He was about to cast at it and Blake wanted to catch it because he had only caught what, a large mouth so far? Yeah. And Braden thought the snake head was only seven to eight pounds. And then well, a little bit was, bigger when it came up. It was about 13 to 14 pounds. He was No, in, it was like 11 to 13 pounds. Okay, whatever. I was at the pool. He was not happy. That was a big one. I was not you that I wasn't happy. You are a tie chart challenge, young man. Very. No. I was, well, partly. But he was also not paying attention because he's too busy fishing. What size shanks are you using? Um, so the whole fly is the tail is a tail shank and then the rest are all 10 millimeter shanks. And uh, just filling it up with the chenille. And then honestly, the hardest part is just the trimming. But after doing after trimming a few, it becomes a whole lot easier. So just exposing the cord on this material here. Tying it as far back as you can on that shank just to fill it up. Going forward. Do a half inch, pull my thread over to my um, thread post. That's really not going to do anything. All right. So, kind of configure the material to the direction you're going to be going in. And then, Just packing it as tight as you can, doing those uh, as you're wrapping, just pulling the material back. Try not to trap any. So, all the way up to the shank guy right there. If anybody saying anything? Where did you get the cord? Um, the Game Changer Chenille is sold through Hairline and Hairline Distributors. But, so just about any fly shop, really. Do you have a package? Yep. Hold it here. Let's see if it's online. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how's that AC? Better. better a whole lot better i'm usually freezing right now but it's getting there i'm still sweating it's like 90 degree air coming out of the thing right now really might was probably from the doors it's prohibited oh i feel the heat now i'm roasting all of a sudden <laughs> but yeah i think the door is opened oh. i might have to um uh, so clean that up do my part from downstairs look mom it's all glitch now. That's because the phone's hot too. <laughs> yeah, something like that. All right. Hey, Mr. Landry. So, solar is bone dry on all the thread shanks, or the, wow, thread shanks, thread wraps. The heat's getting to you. <laughs> Fear my child, it would. Watson says hi. Hey, Mr. Watson. Did you say hey, Mr. Landry? I did. Okay. I'm a little, uh, I'm telling you. I'm sweating over here. 
So picking all out the fibers there. color this one make it a little more colder yeah don't you have some pretty colors of this stuff why do you only have white well and tan? you take a marker and color it but i'm saying the only colors i got is that tan in this there's no way i got chartreuse but not a lot of it mm, not sure i believe you okay But you leave it full until the end, and then you trim it, so then you make sure you, you have a very full body. How many sections to this game changer? Um, this one will have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six sections, and then the hook. But that's a little bit of a larger sized finesse changer, but... But they're all 10 mill millimeter shanks, so it really isn't that big. So. But you can only make a finesse changer so big with the uh, material because that game changer chenille does not come in uh, any other sizes. It's just the, uh, well, I'll take that back. They get smaller, but this is the largest size. They, uh, Hairline also makes the finesse game changer chenille which you can see here is more sparse it's only on one side like that where this is on one side or kind of like two sides but it's very full longer material um but same colors that they both come in they both come in a bunch of different colors What, this material, the one you're using now? Yep. Comes in clear, chartreuse, yellow, orange, olive, black, bonefish tan, olive, brown, and minnow gray. Bonefish tan is a really, really good color, especially for clear water. How about me knowing that from memory? <laughs> That's you're all right. in memory? You're right. You're crazy. You got too much going on these days. You think I can memorize Blaine's colors of his material? I don't think so. Who said you memorized it from memory? I ordered the spin hubs. Can't wait to give those a try. Ryan to you. Awesome. I love them so far. I don't think there's much you don't love them. And I don't think I'm not going to not love them. All I really use now is the St. Jaws. I love them with the old hub. Ben Cleveland. Oh, and Ben, you are not bothering me. You are not bothering me one bit. Watch as long as you are sending me a blog post and your uh, video. I'm all happy. I will have to wait to download your video, though, because somebody sent me three videos, and they took up all my storage in Google. Thank you, Dad. I won't name any names. So, how or what would you use the Finesse Chenille for? A game changer. Come on, Brian. So, I've actually tied, like, CK bait fish with them and stuff like that, which is cool. Um... I don't think it's as good as the original material. Um, definitely not better than the original material, in my opinion. But um, finesse game changers, micro finesse changers. Um, I've used it on under, like, if you really want, like, a finesse feather changer, using this as your filler instead of that filler flash. It actually comes out really well. Um, you just got to trim it up for the your tail or trailing shanks, some of the smaller shanks. Um, let's see, what else have I used it for? Um, I've tied some jerk changers with them. They come out pretty good. I haven't really swam them yet, but I imagine they'll look pretty good in the water. Um, and you can color them like when they get like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's just a bunch of different things you can use for it i've used it on filler on um just single hook flies if i'm doing like a prop and i thought i turned the, i guess you can't turn the phone call off probably not i turned everything else off i believe pick all this out real quick before i tie it off it looks pretty full what 
are you going what are you going after with this fly um with this fly smallmouth bass largemouth bass snakehead bowfin um false abacore mahi mahi i'm really anything that's gonna eat a small bait fish um and you can tie this fly everywhere from about four and a half, five inches long down to two and a half inches long, three inches long. So it's got a lot of species covered with it. So go in here, pick out the material, clean up the head there. There we go. And then whip finish that. All right, so tied that off. And then the solar is bone dry. All up on the thread wraps there. So that's just gonna cure with that UV light locking in all the thread wraps. It kinda with it being a thinner resin it seeps into the thread wraps really well. You're all go Ben. I'll share it with them. We have the same thing. Oh my gracious. I need a fan. Um well I got it back up here. What was it? So will this work for pike? Oh, I'm sure it will. Yep. He can let you know what? After what? Next weekend? Is that your bike trip? I have no idea. Well, yeah, you just go whenever. Yes, this coming weekend. Hmm. Probably just stay home with your brothers. I'm sure you could have gone if you really wanted to. I don't believe your dad put my name down for that fishing trip. Pretty sure he told him you and him would be going. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Tim. There we go. So. Okay, Brian says, will you keel this one so we can see how you do it, please? Yep, I will. I'll keel it once I get up to the hook. Um, what is that? It's when you add the lead wire to it. Okay. Have you seen me? I mean, I know you've seen me do it. Well, I've seen that, but I just didn't know the term. Yeah. That's just keeling the hook. Keeling the fly. Um... But honestly, on a fly like this, a lot of it's going to be weight because I'm not really fishing it super, super fast. But, um, but yeah, it definitely kills it a good bit. Jody says, you need to come to Vermont. I'm going to tell you right now, I'd like to be in Vermont right now. It's 92 degrees here today. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's like it with, that, with our weather right now. <laughs> ben says, I think these will work for stripers. I got to try these again and get some of these materials. Oh, yeah. Stripers. Crush them. Oh, jeez. 88 in Vermont. We're going to be going on our We Are the Millers cross-country trip. And it'll be my luck. They'll be having a heat wave in the Midwest and... Pacific Northwest and everywhere. It'll be hot there. Probably be nice and cool here. But, um, just controlling that game changer chenille as I'm going down the shank here. Picking out some fibers as I go along. Making sure I'm not trapping any. That's just the main thing with this fly because of you just want it as full as you can get it, and then you're going to trim it at the end. What's up? I was just watching. Mm -hmm. You know, it's different to watch here versus my computer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so kind of pluck through this material, getting it all out of the way to tie it off. So, how big have you made these flies? A finesse game changer. That'd be a hair cut off your hat. A finesse game changer. I'm assuming since that's what you're tying. Uh, this is the biggest one I've ever done, but 
It's got a blade on the back. Tied it for snake Holy kids. Holy Moses. It's raining, sleeting, and snowing in northwest Montana. We will be. I did see snow there, yeah. In, hold on. Oh, has, oh, I have, hold on, I can tell you. We will be staying in West Yellowstone when we are out that way. Breckenridge, Yellowstone Island. What finish that off right there at the thread dam or the thread head? Um, snip my thread off. Looks like July 9th through the 12th, we are going to be in West Yellowstone. Wish I had a nice Norvice hat like that. They're on the website. $24.99. Okay, hold up. All right, so we did that cover with, okay, we did that one. Something just caught my eye. Okay. All right, so we did that. Longer. Okay. Um, is this a typo or do you know what that says? Do you not use longer shank? Um, with this fly, you can use longer shanks for sure. Um, I'm just trying to keep it short and compact with this one. Um, but with the finesse changer, um, it seems to be that the smaller shanks swim better. Um, just with this fly, really. And it can kind of look a little weird if you were like a, a lot of t 15 millimeters that's just how i s kind of see it in the water but um obviously you can do whatever you want it's man rick went close, close to glacier national park i tried to work that in so Oh, yeah. I wanted to go there forever. So, just going to kind of pick this out as best as I can. Team Canada wants their logo. I don't know what logo. What logo are you talking about, Team Canada? You better make your own logo and put it on a hat. <laughs> I'm confused. Man, Glacier National Park. But, like you can see there, I mean, it's just a really full fat fly now, but still got to trim it down. Tim said he was going to. <laughs> going where? Relax, Marge. That's okay. That, I'm better now. Yeah. You'll get your Team Canada logo by February of next year. You'll be able to see it when we announce March Madness next year. Alright, so filling up the shank there and then taking the material a little bit on the clump there. Alright, so again, same material, same everything, just pulling out that little bit there for the tie in part. And then. Tying it down to the shank again, just pulling it all the way back to the rear as far back as you can to that shank because we're tying on top of that loop, filling up the entire shank as much as we can to fill up the body of the fly. That's going to make this fly look good once you trim it and have a full body. Not really going to have any gaps. When I first started tying them, I had some big gaps in them and once you start doing using this trick, it really makes them look good. But just pulling back the fibers as you're going along.
Tim said he was all over making us a Norvice logo and we're holding him to it. Yeah. Hold your breath. Oh wait, that's right. Don't hold your breath. Tim is making other things right now. Lots of other things. A hat, I don't believe, is at the top of his list. Oh, yeah. All the other things, I remember. And trust me, you will want the other things that Tim is work working on versus a hat. But if he said he'd make you a hat, I guarantee you it's on a list. So, just going to kind of tie this material off right here. This fly is super, super good for sight fishing. Why don't you tie that material off and why don't you do your first trivia question? Okay. What the heck is going on downstairs now? I don't know, but we have to listen to him bark at because it's, it's always when we do the when the time the, when we do the time videos. Oh yeah, do a live, the yard guy comes, record a video, dad's blowing leaves, do a live, and it's hot up here, dad's working. So, tie that off with a whip finish and then taking this shoulder as bone dry through the thread wraps right there. And then, just working that around all the thread wraps 360 degrees. Just making sure you're not going to be blocking your shank, uh, shank loop right there. Still need to run some wire through there attach it to the hook, but cure that resin. And then got your shanks and they'll be done. Okay. So trivia questions. Only one. Do only one. Write it now. Alright. You came up with it. You really have to get the board to read it? Oh my gracious child. What two materials are the main materials what? for tying a synthetic hybrid game changer? Why don't you just say, you know, you need to be a little more say specific. What? Here's your first trivia question. Oh, here's y'all's first <laughs> trivia question. <laughs> you look like you're reading it to me. Read it again. Um, what two materials are the two main materials for tying a hybrid synth or a synthetic hybrid game changer? Oh, for goodness sakes, give me this. What two materials are the main materials just read for off the board. a synthetic hybrid game That is changer. exactly what I just said yeah, off the board. But you said like four different pauses and whatnot. I, you can't even read your own handwriting. I just did. All right, get back to time. You're up. What are we giving away this week? I don't, I don't know. know. You tell us. <laughs> Comes from Delaware. <laughs> a hat? I don't know. I just get the people's information. I don't decide on what we're giving away. Oh. Okay. The heck? I'm just buffing it out. All right. All right, so. I have to have like these answers here, like the whole thing, like that, that makes it correct, not just some. Um... Yeah. Okay, just yeah. checking. It doesn't have to have that... the front two okay. fold letters. But yeah, kind of. All right. Um... You're wrong, Ben Cleveland. You can stop posting the thing, same thing over and over. <laughs> well, all right. I'll get that hook here in a second. Yeah, this is not a hybrid game changer. This is a uh, finesse game changer. Oh, all right. Yes. Feeling the hook. Yes, he's aware, and he doesn't really look at it. He's looking at me or something else. All right, so killing the hook. Let me, where's the wire? 
What are you looking for? What number? Probably this one. This hook already is kind of beefy enough, and um, it's got a lot of weight in it already. Keels very well to start with, but you really don't need to do a lot of keel weighting. Um, this is 0250 or 025 lead wire. You can also use 020, but just filling up a little bit of that right there. With that much wire, a lot of it's going to be just for weight to get the fly down. But when keeling, you really want your weight as far down on the bend of the hook as you can get it to make sure you're not waiting up on the back here. Because if you got... Oh, my. I didn't do that. You, you kind of did. What? My hand was all the way over here. That light was still on its own. Yeah, you hit it with your arm. No way. Hello, Carver. Sean says, yo. Yo. Okay. All right, I just zoomed in so you could see your lead wire. Are you done with that now? I can zoom back out? Yep. Those are like all up in your face. Mm -hmm. All right. Nope, no geoding. It's not articulated chinks in a hook, but that's a good guess. These are actual. Yeah, actual tying materials. materials. Yep. I should have said uh, brushes. Well, now you did. The brushes for the fly. So this is just some nylon coated stainless steel wire for the connection. Blake Miller is watching <laughs> from the room next door. Yeah. And then just kind of have this little loose Figure out exactly how you want it. I'm pulling it he said, tighter. Jody said he'd like to see you tie Game Changer without a hook and shanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> that is kind of a good answer. <laughs> so, just tying down that wire. Make sure it's all snug, clean. Not gonna glue it down because I don't have any hook on the rear where a fish will grab and pull back on it. But even if I did, I really don't glue them anyway. I haven't had any issues. I've hooked sharks on rear hooks of flies and they haven't pulled out. So I trust it. Um, all right, so the chenille. Working better? Good cooling off a little bit? Yes, I'm not sweating anymore. <laughs> so tying the chenille, draw it back to where that wire loop starts. Just like the shank, you're going to want to fill it up as much as possible and as dense as possible. They turn the combination of glue and freon and they turn it in. So, there we go. Um, taking the finesse chenille or the game changer, <laughs> game changer chenille already. Right <laughs> making sure the AC's working. <laughs> All right. Love you. Love you. Thank you, Dad. Love you. Uh, who's watching your children downstairs? Uh, these two are up here, so you can. Those two need to head on down. Make sure someone feeds those dogs, please. So, just pulling that material. Just pulling it down. As I'm stroking this. <laughs> it just came through. 
What's that? Your dad just came through because this is oh. delayed. He's back there like this. <laughs> no, not Crystal Chanel. Okay, I'll go back because since Willis wasn't here. Sorry. Greetings from Poland. Oh, cool. Yeah, you know, the AC's kind of been acting up for, like, a long time now. You kind of need to say something. I said it to you. I'm not the one to well, say like my 90 degrees upstairs. My air conditioner works just fine on the second floor. And the first. Heat rises. Not my problem. I don't live up here. Well, I try Dad to... sets it on his phone. No, he doesn't. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, Rick Flink, you're close. You have one. He's... What's that? Rick has one. Quick, everybody Sorry. steals answer. He only has one correct. <laughs> and then... I apologize. I'm not going to mess up your name, but your answer was right below Rick Flink. One of your answers is correct, too. Go ahead and try it. Uh, no, I prefer not to. As I... No better. Tim laughing at your dad. Nope, not Crystal Chenier and Chenil and Estes. Hello from Newfoundland, Canada. Just go back to my video. <laughs> I did. Go to the Norvice YouTube page and go track down Brandon's video. First, click subscribe. Really quick, but do not end your Facebook Live. Just open a new page. First, click subscribe. Then like the video. And then... <laughs> then listen, then fast forward. Good job, Brady. So, just using the vise, wrapping that material up tight, dense. Marvin Calgary said hello. What the heck? Listen to those dogs. Oh, Cameron went downstairs. Um. Okay. Look here. So, is that a acceptable answer? Yes. That is the answer. That's the answer, but guess what, Ben? I forgot. Norva. Norva's team owners and ambassadors. We said you're no longer, but good try. I tried coming. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> this is a boring fly. Yeah. He's one color. Until we, uh. I don't like it. We gotta, I gotta bust out the barkers and color them up. Like all of the markers or your your favorites over here? I don't know. I haven't looked in a while. Well, the, no new colors jumped in here all of a sudden. A few. Where is Britt Davenport? I know Brian was on here, but I have not seen Britt tonight. There we go. Tight wraps. Making sure the same. Oh, there she said. I'm here. You've just been quiet tonight. All right. Tie that off. Whip finish. And then. And snip off the thread. Okay. Now for the fun part. Or also known as the hardest part of the slide. <laughs> ben said someone copied my answer. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, maybe pink a little bit. Got the rest of them. Or, um, those are boring colors too. Yeah, well those are colors that catch fish. <laughs> Greens, olives, and then you got black, orange, and uh, more green. Whatever, I like colors that look good on camera. <laughs> also gray. Um, a little bit brighter pink. 
And then... This one's brighter. Oh, that one's really bright. I like that one. Yeah. That's a pretty color. Do we have a bright yellow, really? That would be it. Yeah, I think that, that one. one. Move your head. All right. All right. So, uh, first we got to trim. Okay. First, you might want to just, since everybody saw all your markers, see these? These are on Amazon. Normally, everybody asks. I will go ahead and find the link for you and post it. But Mama wasn't spending the money for Copic markers, and I saw on one of his groups that someone posted these and that they liked them. I want to say it was Corey. It might have been. I have no idea. And he's been using them ever since. Alright, so. Just trimming my bait fish shape. Richard Jen says he hopes his son fishes as much as you. <laughs> Good luck if he does. Uh, definitely fish a lot. <laughs> All right, hold on, let me go to Amazon. So if you say, if you leave a comment, I'll get back to it in two seconds. I should have these in a week. Just ready to go. Well, I normally do. I almost need like one of those sayings, what's his name has. Um, first of all, I don't know. I know what's his name, yeah, yeah. I know. Who's, what's his name? Um, Norvice, no. Um, can't think of his name. I don't know why I can't think of his name. Okay. Look at his stuff all the time. Tell me later. Here they are, right here. Look, I pick up this one and I'm like, this. I know this is not it. Look. Yeah. That's a real quick marker. Yeah. One of like three. Okay, the air conditioning is working. The dog is working. The door is working. Oh, I'm sure everybody loves that in the video. For those of you not familiar with this family, there are four boys and three dogs. It is quite loud around here. All right, let me find the one that's got the good coupon usually. There you go. 72 markers for $20.22. Last purchase, the last purchased March 7th, 2019. That's how long you've had these markers. 2019? Yep. They did for the last. These markers are currently 49% off. Hmm. Why not just knock it down another percent? That's not how it works, Bray. Doing that where people can see? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Just wait till somebody says something. Well, I until just, you say something. I just did. There you go. So, just oh. small. What the heck was that? My elbow just slipped off of my computer onto the countertop. So, small trimming, small trims and cuts make the fly look better in the end oh when people were trying to find out who what's his name is ben cleveland said jock scott richard Jen <laughs> said phil miller what the heck is going on oh someone sliding a note under the door i believe yep thank you oh it's not the mail it's mail that's so fun Oh, look, my house payment. That's really not fun. I'd rather have a note. So, trimming the sides. Every cut is down the fly, not up. Because then you start cutting chunks out. Just make sure all the fibers are pulled down as well. Have you ever used a beard trimmer to shape your flies? I have not, but I've seen, well, I have, but I don't know. It's, it's okay. 
You used to have the thing I had, but I don't see it anymore. Well, so it just disappeared. I don't even know. I think it got thrown away. You must have left it out too long, and the cleaning fairy came up here and tossed it. Who, you? Do I look like a fairy? I don't know. I throw stuff away a lot. And Cleveland said a razor blade would work. Trust me. We have those. I don't need to be bleeding out here on the live. <laughs> We've had that happen before <laughs> with someone else. We don't need that again. I missed Hi, Keith, it. if you're watching. What was it trying to do dishes? The answer to the question? Oh, we do have a thing. We have a Hi, I do winner, so go ahead and you can tell the answer. The answer was a flash blend bait fish brush and a polar fiber brush. Um, Why don't you be more specific now? Because you said you didn't need the first two letters. So that's uh, RD, Renzetti Division, uh, flash, <laughs> flash blend bait fish brush or a RD um, fly tying um, polar fiber brush. Don't yeah. pull a Keith. Or, yeah, I just read that as I was saying the answers. <laughs> We need to remember sunscreen. Look at my right shoulder. My tan is gone. You look like a snake. Peel my skin. He has another question coming up, but we'll give him. Yeah, when I start coloring, we'll do that one, which will be soon. But you really want to get this done right the first time because there is no second time. I feel that we would like more of this. Don't pull it. Yeah, you go right ahead, Terry. We will leave that one up to you. Do you remember that time Keith's video he did? It was rough. Not the video, but the <laughs> cutting himself. I'm glad you uh, corrected yourself there. He sliced his finger open pretty bad. You are very welcome. Like I said, Braden's had these markers since 2019. Brent, I thought you already ordered these. But you are welcome. The hardest part and the most boring part. Bringing out my... What would you... Re oh, I gotta go back. I'm so sorry. Um, what would you recommend for a fly tine starter kit? A Norvice? What else? Um, there's good kits from Scientific Anglers. Um, they're pretty good starter kits. Um, you don't... I see a lot of people, like... What I did pretty much is start off with a bad vice, and what you see is uh, they, they kind of get just broken very quickly after a lot of use. They get what? They get broken. Broken? <laughs> broken. Yeah. Brayden broke three vices. Two vices and wore one out. Yeah. Um, but see. just the quality, just got to, that's the main thing. But, but you also got to think of it as a starter. So, well, it seems like Scientific Anglers has a good starter let's kit. see what Ed's Fly Shop has on his page, since he's one of our dealers. 48 different materials make this kit a comprehensive set of products to begin and experiment with. And it includes a 60-page, 20-fly pattern book with step-by-step -step instructions. Sorry about that. Look, how's that? Oh, yeah, the hairline kit? Yeah, that's a good kit. That's just the tie material kit. Is Copy. that only the materials? That's only material. Yeah. I don't recommend any 
rinky vice to the box. Been there, done that. I bought her several of them. I haven't broken it in a box, too. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Brett, when is the next Zoom session? I'm confused. I'm too far back. This Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific, Britt will be doing another live group uh, Norvice Tyne session. Just because it's called a Norvice Tyne session, it is not limited to only Norvice tires. Yeah, just come in, check them out, um, ask questions with the people who are live. I'm sure they're more than happy to respond and answer them. We'll be short a few people. Oh, that's right. Mickey is retiring this week. Congratulations on that. I saw you were uh, brewing your first batch the other day on Facebook. Okay, I gotta come back to that. Beginner. But, like you can see, it's a very full fly. Sean Mayer says hello. He's late. I still have a double A vice only because I can't afford a race yet. I have been trying to, trying to save for a year. I have it now, but... Four children. I feel your pain. It's hard to save money with four children. Especially one like this. Love you too, Mom. <laughs> Love you. But it's okay, because I got one getting ready to graduate high school and go to work. Yep. Be graduating a certified HVAC technician. How about when the dad was in here? You do HVAC, I don't touch your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is, I know it's boring with this part. Yep, you have people dropping left and right. Boring, boring, boring. Jeez, Brayden. Mm. Well, while Brayden is being boring, trimming, uh, uh, you know, becoming a hairstylist over uh, here. Nope, I was going to say something else so you can hold off. Okay. We have been posting on Mondays um, on the Norvice website. The, the new ambassador meet and greet sheets that Britt tied, uh, typed up for everybody. They've also been trying to get out more blog posts on a regular basis. We have currently have them coming in from our and <laughs> Cleveland put a bunch of Z's. <laughs> we currently have a bunch of blog posts coming in that um, our ambassadors and team members are doing. But I am happy to accept a blog post from anyone to follow your advice if you would like to do one it can be about tying it can be about your favorite fly it can be about your favorite fishing trip whatever you would like um, if you want I'm happy to read it yeah, you can send it email it to Casey C-A-S-E-Y at norvice.com it's N-O-R-V N-O-R dash V-I-S-E I'll put that down here but, Lower dash voice. Yes. we are been posting every Thursday on the YouTube, the YouTube page. Um, time videos from our ambassadors and team members as well as Tim. So if you have a video you'd like to share. What about Tyler? You're funny. <laughs> Free t-shirt and hat for any blog that makes it up on the site. There you go. There you go, G.I. Do you wanted a hat? You better write me a blog, man. Send it on. About trip right there. If you clean your room up. It's you clean. Please. It's clean. They're just flies. Just a box of flies on the floor. A big box with other boxes in the box. All right. So, should start 
I guess, coloring. Oh, I should mention, when blog posts, I need videos that are, that, um, I need not videos, I need pictures to go along with your blog posts to put on the website. Ben Cleveland, you are good to go. You are an ambassador or a team member. Zip it. Alright. So. Oh, uh, Miss Prince is on. Hi, Miss Prince. Hey, Miss Prince. Hope you're doing pretty good. Miss Braden took Miss Prince last week. Was it last weekend? Yeah. I think it was. I think it was yeah, just last weekend. Yeah. And she caught her first fish on a fly last weekend. She's getting ready to go to Jackson Hole this summer. So here's a gray marker. Um, the deal with this finesse chenille is you got to get down to pretty much the core of it to really have it show up well in the material, but it holds color pretty well. And, oh, should we, we should do this before I go into it. Okay. Make sure that's gray. Doesn't say. That's not gray. It's green. I know. It's what I was looking at. Oh. It's number B. Like, doesn't it kind of look gray? I'm colorblind, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, you're colorblind. I mean, it looks gray. It's not gray. It's okay. Oh, look, it's got a gray tail and a green bag. <laughs> okay. Read your, read your question first before you read it on there so you know what you're reading. <laughs> So question number two, guys. Dude, it's I this, mean, that is that is gray. This is like Comedy Central tonight over at our house. All Look, right. here's the color marker. I'm Can telling you. Can you see it? It's hard to see on the Here. video. There you go. Kind of. That now it's too bright. Well, you can of. see it. All right, y'all, y'all. <laughs> there you go, Ben. <laughs> I'll just start over. <laughs> there goes more people. Look, you just went from 73 to 71. No advice, I rolling. All right. <laughs> So, trivia question number two. What are the five sizes of the articulated fish spines from Flyman Fishco? I've used two of them tonight. Um, the articulated fish shanks, not the micro fish shanks, or fish spines, not the articulated spines. The articulated fish spines. Okay. Back to the green game changer. <laughs> I'm gonna roll with it now. Whatever. I was looking at it. I was like, huh. <laughs> Didn't you say fish like green? Oh, yeah. They like green. But this is almost like, I don't even know. Almost That's point. Michelle green. Yeah. She mm. likes bright green. That's all right. Snake kids will eat it. <laughs> you know, because they don't care. <laughs> That's all right. They don't care. They, they kill everything in the ecosystem. <laughs> they shut up. Don't even. They do not. Eating all the five pound bass. That's why. That's why y'all can't catch any of them. That, or you can throw it to a snakehead, or you can throw it to, to a shark, a, or a bluefish, or a bluefish. That's right. It'll eat it too. But yeah, a shark would eat it. <laughs> but yeah. Just kind of getting down into the core of the fly is the main main deal with this. I guess I could kind of go along the back of the marabou. <laughs> yeah, I guess that works. All right, so there's the green, the gray. We'll just start calling, we'll keep calling it gray. Yeah, you do that. Yeah, I was going to have gray and then pink. <laughs> What's everybody saying with the... Uh... I, I don't know. I'm not worried about your trivia question. I'm worried about my blog post and videos that I need. <laughs> Ashley Moose says you can use that when you catch my bluefish. I do know that. <laughs> Expensive time consuming bluefish for when they're picky which is almost never <laughs> okay mom is this pink 
Is that pink? Oh, for God's sake, you're only colorblind for blue and green, I'm not just, pink, goofball. I'm just making sure. All right, so here we go. Gray and pink would have been pretty, though. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. And then it kind of got, kind of backfired on me. Okay, now, let me go through here. I'll be waiting on my free t-shirt and hat. I might have to block that person, I swear. Sounds like a bunch of freeloaders. <laughs> I give you one guess where he's from, who he is. Canada. <laughs> and his name has your favorite initials. And he told you your fly was now green. <laughs> Love you, Ben. Look, I'm starting to get some purple in it, too. See that, Mom? Oh, God. Be quiet. Look, look, look at it. With Stop. the pink is blending in. Huh? With, see if I'm getting a little bit of purple in it? It's all right. If you say so. It almost looks red to me. Got to be the weirdest looking game changer I've ever done. <laughs> Your numbers have dropped way down. Oh, I could, I believe it. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. This That's is a... <laughs> okay. There's a lot of answers. Oop. Oh, I don't need any badges. I see that. There we go. Okay. You might need to do a instructional video. We might not post this on on YouTube. We might make you redo this tomorrow. <laughs> the right for colors. Redo it. Oof. Oh, it's so... Might get flashbacks. It's so tough. Okay, am I only looking for just those? Just tail shank. Okay, did, all the you don't need to tail shank. I literally like, said I used to tail one, shank two, in the other one. Three, four. Mm -hmm. Oh, gracious. I, I saw somebody already had the right answer. I don't see it. Not yet. No, I haven't scrolled down, though. Ashley, how many people are still awake at your house today, tonight after swimming? Imagine RJ's pretty beat. He went home and took a nap. Oh, so he's wide awake right now screaming. It is 8.13, RJ Moose is in bed, don't you know better? <laughs> My little RJ. Let's see, I'm gonna pick up the gray. Now, Callie girl, that's the dim story. She, the girl, shut up. One, two, three. That one. Are you missing one? Oh, no, hold on. No, that's all of them. Oh, no, that's so many. Uh, stop, go ahead. Look. See that? That's why I've seen a couple of that one. That's why I asked, were you missing one? See, that one's on there. Unless that's... It might be. Does that marker transfer to your fingers? Yeah, his fingers are gray. Can't you tell? Yeah, very gray. <laughs> well, only when you're pulling back on the fly and it's still wet. But um, if it's dry, I haven't had any issues with it. D says that's okay. Pink goes with green. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Snake it would eat that. It's all good. Roger Chance said that's a serious Happy accidents. Fly. <laughs> Happy accidents. Pretty pretty nice sunburn on your nose. Oh, Joe, that is not a sunburn. That is a voting accident because my child was determined <laughs> he was not going to lose a fish while he was out fishing. Um, how far were you out? That wasn't very far, but um, mm. we did go off 90 miles offshore. Ben said, you're going to have to kick me out of the lives. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're always and welcome. He said, legit, Braden, that looks awesome. The colors are amazing and look like lures that's used. Thank you. Ashley says, only the adults are awoke, awake at her house. RJ went to bed at 7 o'clock, see? Rick Flink says he definitely likes it. Oh, Callie's out. 
Not me, Ashley. My peeps are still wide awake downstairs. Oh, I can hear them right now. Gary Phillips said, very good. Al Martin, pretty amazing. You have a lot of skill, young men. Man, have a great evening. Thanks, everyone. Very nice fly. Are the eyes green? Um, they're kind of like a mirage color. Like a... Are you sure? We can't ask him if the eyes are green. He can't tell. Yeah, I'm colorblind. <laughs> Wouldn't ask me. Oh, I do like this. Oh, don't look at them. Don't. Trust me, I've been there, done that. My four, I even knew. I learned my lesson a long time ago. The um, eyes are kind of The thin. eyes are almost like a transparent, but they do have like a mirage kind of rainbow film on them. A little them. blue, a little purple, just depends on how you look. Do you color the belly, the white portion? Says Miss Moose. Um, sometimes depends on what I'm doing. Um, I can put a little on there with like an orange for like a throat on it. Ben says he's getting that getting them markers and he will be doing him a pink and green one. He says it would work on pickerel and smallies. Well, there you go. You just saved that fly for next weekend, boy. <laughs> Send me a picture, because I won't be there. Gary Phillips says, I love watching you tie. Thank you, Miss Phillips. Gary Phillips. I said Mr. Phillips. It sounded like Mrs. I know. I kind of slurred my word there. <laughs> I'll be right back in two seconds. I heard a door shut over here. Dun, dun, dun. finished fly. Colin, um, Colin, I mean, I guess says, I kind of like that. He says good fly, no matter what color it is. <laughs> <laughs> that gray. That cannon on that gray color. Oh, Lord, child. You should have said you were looking for gray. Looking? I, I never heard. Look. Oh, my God. There's literally. There we go. But. Six different shanks in it. Super swimmy fly. I probably could have trimmed a little bit more. I didn't want to bore y'all more than I had to. But um, yeah, that's the finished fly. What time is it? Eight eighteen. I'd like you to know there are eight. Wow. Eight gray markers in this kit I in braided and pink green. I picked the one. <laughs> Did you show the other end of the marker that they're two-sided? Like oh, they're yeah. So, here's the gray marker I was using earlier. Um, <laughs> it's got more of like a edged, <laughs> kind of slanted one. And then a uh, almost like a Sharpie. A small sharpie tip. Tim what? said, "In what door would that be? That would be Blake Williams' door." Yep. Well, I mean, you can probably guess by the stomp. <laughs> but that's okay because he's got extra visitors up there keeping an eye on things for me. What? Oh. Anybody have any questions for Brandon? Do we ever pick anybody for the trivia question? Oh, you have to go. I don't know. You. I mean, I will let him know later. I will message them. You can just poop now. Yeah, call and call back. Okay, that one's correct. Yep. Okay, Carlin, send me a me send me a message with your address, your phone Thank number, you. and your email. Oh. I only need that information. Here, can you hand me that big Four. fly, the brown one, the brown olive one? Uh, I don't like that fly. I only need that and all that information for shipping purchases only. Yeah, I've, I've seen a lot about Murray Cod. Those fish are look incredible.
there's just a big musky T-bone with the uh, body tubing up underneath of uh, all the book tail, then flash along the back. Ben says you want to send him that fly with a signature so he can hang it in his room. Which one? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the one you just had. Your pink and green one. My pink and green one? Good. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking of fishing that now. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, Brendan has a little attachment to his flies. But he can do a different one. Dang, yeah, that would eat that. No, Murray Cod. <laughs> I can tell you this, you go to Australia, I'm going. So, let's see. Man, Brady, people get to, you get to go to bed early. Nobody's going to have to stay up late yeah. watching you tonight. It's, I kind of like it. I, I don't know. I get, finish, <laughs> I get to finish laundry. So, any questions for Brayden? Every time. Yep. <laughs> See what number said. <laughs> yes, every time is correct. I hope everybody's states are opening back up. We are here in Virginia, I know. Yep. I went to a concert last night. Outdoors, live. Chase Rice, it was oh. great. No mask. Fred DeWeese is here. Next time I could do, I know he asked about the jerk changer. I could do like a, either a small one or a large jerk changer. Let's go. But, kind of what? But, um... There's a tiny one that caught some bass in a creek, but still has the rattle and everything on it. Something sounds like it's about to explode. Ben Cleveland says you have time to clean your room. I do. It's. Oh, you should have seen the beauty. You did come home to the way he did from Harker's Island. He about had a stroke. But we caught some fish. That's okay, because I have piles of stuff all over this room. Got back home at 2 o'clock in the morning, slept, came back here, Need got everything ready, fished, to, fished yesterday. <laughs> Need the fly shows to return. I agree. Yes. I am very ready to go. I, I am even ready. Well, actually, that's because I kind of get away from here, too. But I do love seeing everybody at the fly shows. Uh, I think the first one that I know of that we are planning on is IFTD. Norvice will be there. Salt Lake City. Yep. If Brayden has an attachment to his slides, he probably climbed the tree I put to in last week. <laughs> I do have pictures of that Jane on my camera. I have to send you where he crossed the, crossed the river to go over and get the flies out. Trust me, that's no big deal. I do that all the freaking time. For his own fly, for his own cast. Yes, Greg, you are good. Um, you should be good to go by uh, middle of June. Um, things are looking, finally looking up around here in Virginia. Yeah, catching some snakeheads. That is not what we were talking about. <laughs> In the boat, man. Yeah. yeah. Fish obsessed child. All right. Well, if you have any questions for Brayden, you can send them to Facebook or his Instagram or his website, which you can give that spiel. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Miller Time Flies, Facebook at Brayden Miller, uh, my website. MillerTimeFlies.com. Oh, let um, me interrupt you. Tomorrow or Tuesday, we should have the website link for Miller Time Flies shirts and hats and sweatshirts up. Oh, cool. And tank tops. I love my tank tops that we get. So I will post that on Braden's Facebook page, Instagram, and his website. And I'll, maybe I'll try to post it a link in here and or probably put it out on Norvice since there's been so many lives people have asked and I keep saying it's coming, it's coming. It's yeah. here. <laughs> so, okay, now you can continue with your social media and then let everybody go. Uh, well, that was all of it. Um, yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, who's tying yep. next week? Um, Hold on, I don't even know that. Give me two seconds so I can pull that up for you. Nope. Next week time. Who tried last week? Um, oh, next week will be Tim. Oh, it's supposed to be Tim next weekend. Hmm, how's oh, that one going to work? Yeah. 
dun, dun, dun. He's there every time. Well, it sounds like you better pack his mice. How about you, Ben? You want to next weekend? <laughs> um, next weekend is supposed to be Tim, but he's going to be in Ohio pike fishing, and I don't believe we'll be doing a live because he about this time from a fishing all day. It's about bedtime right now. Unless he takes a nap on the way back. So, I will find a tire for next week. Mm -hmm. It will not be Braden or Tyler or Tim. Because I'll be sleeping as well. <laughs> so, wait. Somebody sent me their stuff. Somebody's coming up. We might just switch. Ben, aren't you coming up in two weeks? If you are, you're tying next weekend if you're available. All right, everybody. Y'all have it. Or Ed. <laughs> yeah, it won't be Ed either. Yeah. All right, everybody have a great night, and I will figure out who's going to be our tire next weekend. Cool. Um, all right, well, thanks, everybody, for watching. I had a lot of fun tonight. Uh, hope you all well, laughed a little bit. Thanks um, for coming to Comedy Hour. But uh, sorry, bored you all a little bit on the trimming, but hope you all kind of learned how to tie the fly. I had a lot of fun tying it and uh messing it up a little bit here and there but, send us uh, a picture of your own green and um gray your, your, excuse me your gray your own gray and pink fly yep. if you tie one gray and pink <laughs> you can send it you can send it we'll uh post them up so yep all right, all right everybody cool. have a great week oh hold up i have three new comments sorry awesome man ciao for now great job it was fun to watch <laughs> thanks guys see you later all right everybody have a great night